So there are a lot of smartphones out there and we do get to see new brands every time. So right now there's a new brand in Nepal of smartphone, the iMars. So iMars originates from China and they mostly make smartphones but they also make laptops and TVs but as of now only smartphones are available in Nepal and recently they have launched various smartphones that mostly caters the need of a bulk smartphone. So today with me I have the iMars Vega X7. We'll do a quick unboxing of this phone and also take a quick look. So let's get started. Alright, the iMars Vega X7. The packaging of this phone looks quite good and it's also good to know that you get 2 years warranty on this smartphone. It's written right there on this box. So the phone does support 4G and the variant we have is a blue one. And on the back we have general specs of the device, Android 8.0, MediaTek MTK6757, 5.99 inch display, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage, dual rear cameras, single SIM and dual SIM, well I quite don't know how to make sense of that, triple SIM. We do have a fingerprint sensor, a 4500mAh battery and we get Face ID as well. So the specs look pretty decent I guess and you're getting all of this package for Rs 20,999 and this whole thing feels pretty heavy. I mean the box is pretty heavy. Alright, let's open up the box now. So it's slightly different from some other packaging. You need to open it up from the sides and pull this blue ribbon here. The plastic is slightly damaged, they should be more careful with this I guess. So first off we get the phone itself, the phone looks really good especially the back, it's a glass like finish, the blue color looks really cool and this thing feels pretty solid as well. Well let's keep the phone aside for now and let's see what else we get. So we get a warranty card and it looks like an ATM card. I guess they are really trying to put emphasis on the warranty thingy, the 2 years warranty, a premium looking warranty card, well it's just a card though. Now moving on we get a transparent cover for the phone and then we have a charger. It's a 5 volt charger so I do not expect charging to be as quick. Then we have a SIM ejector tool, a USB type C cable and a dongle because it does not have a headphone jack. Well at last we get an earphone with the box as well. The build quality of this phone feels good, it feels robust, the sides are probably aluminium, the buttons feel good as well and this glass like back looks beautiful. Well. The build is pretty impressive. So we get a fingerprint sensor on the back. The fingerprint setup was pretty easy and the fingerprint works equally good. It's fast and accurate. Now on the inside it is using a custom ROM named Blackview on top of Android version 7.1.1 and the security patch label of 2017. Well that was a surprise, it's 2019 now. Well the box said that there was Android 8.0 but it seems there's some kind of mistake here. I checked for updates as well and there was no update so it seems you will only get Android 7.1 with this one. Well the UI is fluid as you can see the animations are pretty quick and it looks like they have not used animations or effects anywhere within the UI. So this is the home screen there is no app drawer so it's kind of a bummer for me. It's kind of like iOS like UI, all the apps you have are on the home screen and if you swipe right you get these cards. It's kind of like Google News, there are news all over the place but I'm not sure how this thing is recommending me these news. Well you can just swipe down to access notification drawer and the icons here seem pretty decent but I'm really not sure about the color choices though. They could have just used single color instead of these colorful icons. It just makes the UI look random and you know not uniform. Well this thing has a face unlock as well but it was not working every time. Well we'll have to test before we give any kind of verdict on it. So now moving on to the camera, it's pretty much like what we get with the Oppos. We have the beauty mode and wait for it, there's something called face cute mode. The naming though, this should not have used that, I think it's pretty weird. So we did take some audio sample images, just take a look at these pictures for now and we shall go in depth in our full review video. So that's it for this video, hope you guys liked it and as always like if you liked it, subscribe to our channel for further contents like this and also hit that bell icon to get notifications. Until next time, Namaste.